two years ago, we started uh, researching uh, what's become our uh, officer phlebotomy program, uh, where we recognized uh, one of the issues that we were having with doing blood draws for impaired driving investigations was some of the delays at the hospital. Uh, one of our officers, uh, John Babcock, actually pointed out that uh, you know we were having such significant delays and problems at the hospital that it was actually hindering our ability to investigate impaired driving. One of the things we knew going into this was um, you know sometimes you know dealing with you know the risk management folks um, because our police officers you know, all of a sudden saying hey you know they're going to be essentially um, you know performing a medical procedure. And, uh, and so, you know, we knew we had a, some things that we needed to overcome there. Um, however, we did our research and identified, um, you know, the, 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 you know the, the issues and we were able to work, for example, with our insurance provider um, to not only address them, but to show them that not only was there either no risk or very minimal risk, but the fact is, is that this has occurred elsewhere outside of Washington State and uh, it has been, uh, has been, has been a success. We usually try to get them to do the breath test. So we go through that process to, the, to do the dragger machine, which is the BAC machine. Um, if they refuse, then what we do is we write a search warrant to obtain the blood and then that's when we bring them in here. This room is, uh, was created because we wanted a sterile, controlled environment to do the blood draw. It's also a closed environment. We're not just out there in the open doing the blood draws. We're here in a controlled, it's all videotaped and audio recorded, so all the, all the blood draws are evidence in the courts, but also it shows you know, that we're not doing anything extreme or trying to hurt the subject or anything like that. So getting folks you know, off of the street, um, in, a, in, a, in a much more, um, you know, efficient manner and then getting our officers back on the street, you know, again, is a win-win for public safety.